The ocean is like a whole different world right here on Earth's surface. It's astonishing that we've only explored a mere 5% of its immense expanse. This vast realm is home to a diverse array of creatures, ranging from minuscule to apex predators. The ocean's mysteries serve as an enticing lure that draws adventurers into its depths. But what would happen if these adventurers faced the formidable threats of the sea? This video will retell the stories of thrill seekers who ventured into the watery depths and encountered the savage creatures of the sea. This is untamed. As the sun began its ascent, its golden rays painted the tranquil beach along the east coast of Reunion Island, infusing the azure waters with a dazzling array of shimmering hues. In the midst of this picturesque scene, Rowan Ellis and his family found themselves amidst a long-awaited vacation, a journey aimed at discovering both solace and adventure within this exotic paradise. Laughter rippled through the air as children constructed intricate sandcastles, couples strolled along the shoreline hand in hand, and the soothing symphony of waves played its timeless melody. In every sense, it was an idyllic backdrop for a cherished family retreat. Rowan, a figure of tall and athletic build, had always shared an unbreakable connection with the embrace of the ocean. His passion for surfing was nothing short of contagious, a spark that had ignited similar fervor within his cousins Ronnie, Andrew, and Lucky. These kindred spirits were no strangers to the thrills of the sport, having ridden countless waves and carved unforgettable memories atop their boards. With the gentle touch of the March sun warming their spirits, the quartet seized the opportune moment and made their collective decision to capture the essence of adventure through epic rides on the awaiting waves. The waves were inviting, forming perfect barrels that beckoned to be ridden. Rowan and his cousins paddled out with a sense of anticipation, eager to conquer the sea's offerings. The salty breeze tousled their hair as they lined up on their boards, scanning the horizon for the next wave. Rowan's heart raced as he spotted the swell he had been waiting for. With a powerful stroke, he paddled hard and felt the energy of the ocean lift him. He rode the wave with finesse, carving graceful arcs as he raced toward the shore. A triumphant whoop escaped his lips as he glided effortlessly on the water's surface. After a series of thrilling rides, the cousins decided to take a breather. They lay belly down on their surfboards, bobbing gently with the rhythm of the waves. Laughter and banter filled the air as they swapped stories of their exploits. Rowan's face was flushed with excitement, his eyes reflecting the joy of living in the moment. Suddenly, a shadowy form stirred beneath the water's surface, cutting through the tranquil scene like a razor-sharp blade. Catching everyone off guard, the sight unfolded in an instant. A colossal, ten-foot-long bull shark emerged from the depths, with the power of a torpedo. Its dorsal fin pierced the water's surface, creating an eerie silhouette that contrasted starkly against the backdrop of the early morning sun. Rowan was overcome by panic as his surroundings descended into chaos. The force of the shark's sudden surge sent him hurtling off his board and plunging into the water. A chilling wave of fear gripped the group, amplified by the ominous presence of the creature lurking just beneath them. Amid the tumult, Rowan struggled to regain his composure, his frantic gaze scanning the water for his cousins, who were now shouting his name in disbelief. However, before Rowan could even process the unfolding nightmare, the bull shark lunged with astonishing speed. Its formidable jaws snapped shut around his shoulder, the crushing force rending bone and flesh with a vice-like grip. A guttural, agonized scream escaped Rowan's lips, swallowed by the rush of water as he thrashed and kicked his desperate attempts to break free from the monster's deadly hold, creating a flurry of splashes and turmoil. Ronnie, Andrew, and Lucky sprang into action, their instincts fueled by a mixture of terror and adrenaline. They paddled toward Rowan, their voices united in fierce shouts, hoping to deter the shark with their combined presence. The bull shark, however, displayed a relentless determination, driven by an ancient and primal hunger that transcended time itself. Its assault was unyielding, shaking Rowan's body with a ferocity so intense that he resembled nothing more than a helpless ragdoll within the shark's formidable grasp. The force of each thrash from the shark's powerful body only served to worsen Rowan's injuries, with the water surrounding them gradually transforming into a chilling shade of crimson, a haunting testament to the savage nature of the beast's attack. Rowan's struggle displayed remarkable valor, driven by an unwavering survival instinct that fueled his every move. He fought with fierce determination, clawing at the water and delivering desperate punches to the shark's snout. 
The fierce struggle painted a horrific scene as blood mixed with the surrounding seawater, illustrating the depths of Rowan's desperation. Yet, despite his tenacious efforts, the frenzied predator remained unyielding, its primal instincts undeterred by Rowan's desperate bid for survival. As Rowan's strength waned, the unimaginable became a reality. The shark's final lunge was a horrifying blur, its jaws clamping down on Rowan's body with crushing finality. As Rowan went completely limp, succumbing to his injuries, the water was stained crimson as the relentless predator claimed its prize, dragging its prey beneath the surface in a violent swirl of foam and blood. The water's surface turned calm once more, the waves lapping at the shore as if nothing had happened. Ronnie, Andrew, and Lucky paddled back to the beach, their faces etched with shock and disbelief. The Ellis family gathered on the sand and watched in helpless horror as the ocean's unrelenting beast consumed their beloved Rowan. Sirens wailed in the distance as authorities arrived, their boats cutting through the water's surface in a desperate attempt to reclaim what remained of Rowan. But the bull shark had vanished, retreating into the fathomless depths with its gruesome prize, leaving only ripples as evidence of its presence. The Ellis family stood on the shore, numb and broken, their world shattered by a horror beyond comprehension. The glistening waves that had once promised joy and adventure now held a sinister secret, one that would forever haunt their memories. Reunion Island, a paradise tainted by tragedy, stood witness to the devastating truth that the ocean, beautiful and beguiling, could also be a realm of the depths of untamable terror. Edward Calloway had always sought solace in the embrace of the ocean. Despite his profession as a teacher, the allure of the waves had pulled him away from the confines of Minnesota and into the enchanting realm of Hawaii. With every cresting wave that he rode, Edward felt a profound connection to a force that was primal and commanding, a sensation that resonated with the core of his being. Therefore, it came as little surprise that when news spread of a local surfing competition scheduled at Tiger Beach during the summer of 1987, Edward's heart surged with uncontainable anticipation. In the days leading up to the competition, Edward dedicated himself to rigorous training. Dawn would find him paddling out into the early morning swells, honing his skills and preparing his body for the challenges that lay ahead. His daily routine consisted of pre-dawn runs along the beach followed by hours spent mastering the art of wave riding. The thrill of the surf, the camaraderie of fellow surfers, and the radiant Hawaiian sun combined to create a world where Edward truly felt alive. The day of the competition dawned bright and promising, the sky a canvas of cerulean blue. The beach buzzed with activity as competitors gathered, waxing their boards and trading stories of past victories and near misses. Amidst the crowd, Edward stood with a sense of exhilaration, his board by his side, his gaze focused on the waves that beckoned to him. As the sun climbed higher in the sky, Edward paddled out into the turquoise embrace of the ocean. The waves were alive with potential, each crest an invitation to dance upon the water's surface. He caught wave after wave, each ride a testament to his dedication and skill. With every twist and turn, Edward's heart surged with joy and freedom, his worries momentarily forgotten. However, as the day progressed, a subtle shift in the ocean's temperament became evident. What were once gentle swells had transformed into unpredictable surges, almost as if nature itself had conspired to challenge the resilience of the surfers. Despite this shift, Edward remained resolute, his determination undeterred as he continued to paddle fearlessly into the waves, his unwavering focus a testament to his commitment. In the midst of this changing environment, a pivotal moment arrived during one of Edward's rides. Carving his way down the face of a cresting wave, he suddenly collided with an unseen force lurking beneath the water's surface. The impact was abrupt and disorienting, causing him to lose his equilibrium. Struggling to regain his balance on his board, a wave of terror swept over him. An alarming realization took hold. In that vast expanse of ocean, an imposing presence lingered beside him, concealed by the water's depths. Before he could grasp the unfolding situation, a mighty force struck his body from below, jolting him with visceral intensity. The shock of impact was swiftly followed by a throbbing pain that emanated from his right leg. Involuntarily, a raw cry of shock and agony escaped his lips, mingling with the salt-laden air as he fought to reorient himself amidst the chaotic churn of the water. Beneath the roiling waves, a 12-foot-long tiger shark materialized from the depths, drawn by the tumultuous disturbance. With swift and chilling precision, the creature's powerful jaws seized Edward's leg, 
its serrated teeth sinking into flesh and bone. The agony that followed was a searing blaze, overpowering his senses and propelling his body to react with raw primal instinct. A surge of adrenaline triggered Edward's survival instincts into action. He unleashed a flurry of punches and kicks upon the massive creature, each strike finding its mark on the shark's snout, where sensitivity met power. In response, the shark erupted in violent thrashes, its grip on Edward's leg constricting with a relentless determination to overpower its prey, and its teeth further tearing through his prey's vulnerable flesh. Amid this struggle, the water was tainted with the stark mingling of blood. Within the chaotic fray, one of Edward's punches found its mark on the shark's gills, a vulnerable and tender area. The predator recoiled in pain, stunned by the unexpected assault. This crucial moment granted Edward a respite from the vice-like grip on his leg. Seizing this fleeting window of opportunity, fueled by sheer determination, he summoned the last reserves of his strength. With a final burst of effort, he unleashed a powerful kick squarely upon the shark's snout, a blow that resonated with the weight of survival itself. The blow landed with a resounding thud, stunning the predator. Edward seized the opportunity, kicking with all his might and pushing himself towards the surface. Gasping for air, he managed to reach his board and cling to it, his vision blurred by pain and adrenaline. As swiftly as the attack had erupted, its intensity began to wane. Perhaps the shark, its curiosity sated by an exploratory bite, or possibly sensing its own defeat amidst the prey's unyielding resistance, made a hasty retreat back to the fathomless depths of the ocean. In the distance, other surfers had witnessed the turmoil, and they paddled with urgency toward Edward's side. Their faces were etched with concern and determination as they assisted the wounded surfer back to his board. Together, they navigated the waves, the collective strength of their efforts a testament to the bonds of camaraderie forged amidst the waves. Minutes later, the distant wails of sirens pierced the air as emergency services arrived on the scene. Edward's ordeal was far from over as he was transported to the hospital, where his wounds were tended to with urgency and care. The doctors marveled at his resilience. His survival was a testament to the unyielding strength of the human spirit. As days turned into weeks and weeks into months, Edward's scars became a physical reminder of the harrowing encounter that had forever altered his life. But he refused to let fear claim him, for he knew that the ocean held both beauty and danger, a duality that demanded respect and caution. And though his journey had been marked by pain, it had also revealed the depths of his own strength, the unbreakable bond that connected him to the very essence of nature itself. The summer of 2006 brought both warmth and excitement to Neptune Island, Australia. Its crystal clear waters held the promise of adventure. But for Courtney Childress, a daring adventurer and devoted blogger, the thrill came with an unexpected horror that would forever change her life. As Courtney boarded the motorized boat that would take her to the heart of the action, she could sense the electrifying energy radiating from her fellow passengers. Wide smiles and nervous chatter filled the air as they all anticipated the imminent encounter with Neptune Island's most feared residents, the Great White Sharks. Courtney's heart raced with a mixture of excitement and trepidation as she adjusted her camera gear, determined to capture every moment of this adrenaline-pumping adventure. Once aboard, the boat began its journey toward the designated dive spot. The guide and instructor gathered the divers to provide final instructions, emphasizing safety protocols and the importance of following the rules. Courtney listened attentively, mentally preparing herself for the unique experience she was about to embark upon. She glanced over the side of the boat at the vast expanse of ocean stretching out before her, a seemingly endless canvas of blue. The moment arrived as the boat came to a halt and the cage was lowered into the water. Courtney watched intently as her fellow divers began to descend one by one into the depths. As her turn approached, she took a deep breath and reminded herself of the breathtaking footage she would capture to share with her eager readers. Submerged beneath the waves, Courtney's camera captured the majestic beauty of various great white sharks as they prowled the waters around her. The underwater landscape was a symphony of movement and life, with every click of her camera capturing a moment of awe-inspiring beauty. But then an inexplicable shift occurred. The once lively environment turned eerily silent as if a sudden foreboding presence had gripped the sea. Out of the deep blue abyss, a monstrous creature emerged, a colossal 14-foot great white shark. It charged at the cage with an intensity that sent shivers down Courtney's spine. Before she could even react, the massive predator collided with the cage, 
its brute force reverberating through the metal bars and shaking her to the core. The impact left Courtney rattled, her heart racing in her chest. Dread crept over her as the other sharks retreated, leaving the monstrous great white shark alone in the water. Panic clenched at her chest, and she frantically signaled the guide to lift her out of the water. The cage ascended towards the surface, and Courtney's heart raced with both fear and relief as she neared the boat. Gasping for air, Courtney clung to the cage's metal bars, her eyes wide with terror. The crew's hands reached down to help her escape the confined space. She was almost out, her body perched precariously on the metal bars, when the world turned into chaos once more. With horrific force, the massive great white shark rammed the cage again. The impact was like a freight train colliding, sending shockwaves through Courtney's body. In an instant, she was airborne, suspended for a terrifying moment before gravity reclaimed her. She plunged back into the water, her body sinking into the abyss. Disoriented and struggling against the weight of her wetsuit, Courtney fought to regain her bearings. But before she could even take a breath, the monstrous shark lunged at her with incredible speed, jaws wide open. A cacophony of terror and agony filled her senses as the jaws clamped around her flailing leg. The pain was unimaginable, a searing fire that consumed her consciousness. She felt the shark's teeth tear into her flesh and crunch against her bones. Instinctively, Courtney's fingers wrapped around the only anchor she had, the cage's metal bars. She clung to them with a desperation that defied reason. Her grip was her only defense against the creature's primal power. The battle of strength between humans and beasts was fierce, the water swirling with chaos. Courtney's screams were swallowed by the ocean's depths as the shark thrashed and tugged, intent on claiming its macabre prize. The cage's bars were her lifeline and her only hope of survival against this relentless force. In a final sickening crunch, the shark's power proved insurmountable. Courtney's limb was torn from her body. The rending of flesh and bone was a nightmarish symphony of horror. The shark retreated into the depths, its grotesque prize in tow. The pain was so overwhelming that Courtney's consciousness began to slip away, darkness encroaching on her vision. She relinquished her grip on the cage's bars, her body going limp as shock consumed her. Her fall toward the depths was arrested by the swift action of the boat's crew, who dove into the water to retrieve her. Blood sprayed across the boat's deck as they hauled Courtney's limp form aboard, a collective gasp of horror and empathy filling the air. The crew sprang into action, drawing on their training to staunch the bleeding and stabilize Courtney's mangled stump. Radio signals crackled as an emergency rescue was summoned, and the boat raced back toward the shore with urgency. Neptune Island's pristine coastline soon came into view, with an ambulance waiting on the shore. Courtney's limp form was rushed into the vehicle, the wailing sirens cutting through the air as they sped toward the hospital. Within the sterile confines of the operating room, Courtney's life hung in the balance. The medical team worked tirelessly, their efforts focused on saving her life and providing the best possible outcome. The ordeal left her forever marked, both physically and emotionally, with the physical absence of a limb a constant reminder of the untamed power that had taken it away. As weeks turned into months, Courtney's journey of healing began. The support of her loved ones, the kindness of strangers, and her own unyielding spirit became her sources of strength. The trauma of that fateful day lingered, but so too did her determination to triumph over adversity. Courtney's tale resonated far beyond her blog's readership. It became a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, a reminder that even in the face of unimaginable horror, the will to survive and thrive could be an unbreakable force. The waters around Neptune Island were forever changed, a haunting reminder that the realm of the great white shark was as beautiful as it was perilous, a realm that could shape destinies in the blink of an eye.